Oh hey, you wanna come make a healthy salmon dinner with me tonight? Good, cause that's what this video is about. We're gonna be making a healthy salmon dinner recipe for you guys tonight and I'm gonna be showing you guys a really quick, simple, no fail way of making a delicious salmon filet, skin on and everything. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be using this recipe to feed my family of six tonight. I will also give you some quick little tricks on how to get or what I'm gonna be preparing for my littles to go along with this. Yeah, if you wanna cook with me or watch me cook and then get expired, not expired, but inspired to cook, then this is the video for you. Healthy salmon dinner recipe. It is Tuesday and on Tuesdays we have a pretty open schedule. We do not have practice or anything going on in the evening. So Tuesdays are a little bit more of a fancy night for us. So tonight I'm gonna go ahead and make a salmon filet as well as some roasted potatoes or french fries. And I'm also gonna throw in some asparagus while I already have the oven on. And I think I'm gonna actually make a big salad as well. So to get started, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and preheat your oven, make sure everything's out of it. Um, and then a trick to doing some good, really crispy oven potatoes is this is actually a trick my dad taught me is you soak them in water. So I went ahead and cut them up and I left the skins on as well. The skins taste delicious. Just make sure you rinse them about three or four times to remove some of the extra starch on the outside. Then we're gonna drain them and get them nice and dry. Be sure to make get the potatoes really dry. Otherwise you're not gonna have that nice crispiness that you're wanting. So I just grabbed a clean towel and I'm just gonna pat them off really dry. are in the oven the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and prep my salmon as well as my asparagus so that they'll be ready to pop in the oven and then if the potatoes are not done then we'll start on our fruit or salad whatever we're doing next okay for the salmon I want like a blackened top honestly this is what I do a lot of times I just go on Google and look up whatever I'm looking for so blackened seasoning we're gonna go with best ever blackened seasoning I'm gonna whip this up and that will go on top of our salmon and then we'll go from there. Also, something I wanted to mention is that for salt, what I typically do is for every pound of meat, I do about a teaspoon of salt and that's how I can gauge it. So it is going to seem like a lot of spices on this salmon, but you have to think it's really thick. So I like to put a little tiny bit of oil, then I like to just pack those that blackened seasoning on it and then whatever extra is on the pan is gonna be perfect because we're gonna actually put the asparagus all around it while it bakes. So it's gonna be awesome. This smells good. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm working on is the asparagus and what I like to do is I just take it and kinda let it snap where it's gonna break and then I, honestly, this is the lazy man's way because you, you should go through all of them and do that to see where it's tender, it'll snap. But I break one, and then I line them all up, and I cut them all to the length of the one. Okay, so the first step to making this salad is actually the dressing. If, do yourself a favor, if you don't make anything else today, make this dressing. It is absolutely delicious, and honestly, I bring it to just about any cookouts or gatherings and this is probably everybody's favorites. Do not skip out on having the nutritional yeast. Um, okay, so this is how you make the dressing. I go ahead and mince up a clove of garlic and I also today decided to add it in um, some sun-dried tomatoes. These ones are in oil so you don't have to use as much olive oil. The next step um, is just to add a little bit of olive oil and then some kind of acidity. Sometimes I use um, lemon juice or white wine vinegar. Today I use red, red wine vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is really good too. It gives like a real nice tang to it. Um, and then at that point, we're gonna add in some seasonings. We're gonna add in the nutritional yeast. We're gonna add in some black pepper and some salt. 
and that is it that's our dressing so what I like to do is I like to go ahead and prepare it in the bowl that I'm actually tossing the salad in and then the next thing I'll do is just chop up all of my vegetables and I kind of just set it all in here on top and I'll stick it in the fridge and then right before serving I just go ahead and toss the salad try this salad a tried and true way to get overwhelmed in the kitchen and feel like you're not getting anywhere is to cook and not clean as you go so as you get through with each step like the potatoes for instance stop take a second start over get everything straightened up moving on to our salmon and our asparagus got that done stop clean up um, so now I'm done with the salad and we're gonna do another quick cleanup and then we're kind of just at a hold for a minute while we wait for our potatoes to catch up and then we can throw in our salmon and the salads in the fridge so whenever the potatoes come out and the salmon gets done all it is is throwing it all together and I've actually only been cooking for about 30 minutes and that includes the time that it's taken me to film so if you can kind of streamline what you're doing think about it ahead of time do a little bit of planning you'll find some success in the kitchen. Quick mom hack, I'm already cutting up all these vegetables for our salad and I know that I have two kids that will probably eat this salad put together but the other two won't. So I'm just making an extra plate of just carrots and um, cucumbers. So the kids are probably, they're not gonna eat the salmon. None of my kids like salmon. Um, and only two of them will eat the salad but I have this for vegetables for my other two and then everybody's gonna eat the potatoes. And then a lot of times what I'll do is if I'm worried about them not having enough protein or just adding another vegetable, is I'll open a can of peas. Peas are actually really high in protein and you do the sweet peas and the kids actually love them. So they'll have this with sweet peas and the roasted potatoes for dinner. I like to say that our kids pretty much eat whatever we eat for dinner, and they do, but it's like a deconstructed version of what we eat. So I don't go out of my way to make these separate meals per se for them, but I do make a point to make things a little bit different. Kids' palates aren't super developed or they might have textural issues when they're younger, so if you can find something simple that they like, they don't. it doesn't have to be super creative, but I do wanna to try to focus on it being from the earth and healthy for them, so. What did you guys do while mommy was cooking? Uh, we got the toothpaste. You got in the toothpaste? Yeah. Too. Are you ever gonna outgrow getting into the toothpaste? Are you ever gonna stop getting into the toothpaste? No. Let me see your teeth. Are they clean? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> Let me. You want to see? There you go. I got. I got wicked on my toe. Yeah. Yeah. Can you please not get into the toothpaste anymore, please? We won't. Thank you. All right, go play so I can finish dinner, okay? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, well that was fun. The potatoes have come out. By the way, this was a terrible idea to do this when it's warm outside because I have my air off right now and it's 79 in here. I'm about to kick that air on. Um, okay, this is something that I was really excited to share with you guys and this is the whole reason why I did this as our Tuesday night dinner is something I learned um, for making salmon. So, I am going to put my oven on broil. I think I did high. If it's not high, I'll let you know. Um, I put it on broil high. Now keep in mind that my oven was preheated to 400 already from putting the potatoes in um, and those took about 40 minutes if I hadn't already told you that. Um, so I have it, the oven with it being that hot already, it's not gonna take this as long on broil, but you could still do this from start to finish in a cold oven just turning it on broil. All right, so I'm gonna put a stopwatch timer on. Um, oh, another trick real quick, hold on. <sighs> okay, I'm everywhere. I'm gonna put a stopwatch timer on to give you guys an idea. This was a little over a pound of salmon. Um, I'm gonna put a stopwatch on and let you guys know about how long it's gonna take. My other tip to you was to turn your salmon. Oh wait, let me turn my light on. I'm like, clearly have forgot how to do this cooking and <sighs> videoing thing. Okay, hold on. My other tip is to turn your salmon so you can see the, see how you can see the thick side right here? Because as it changes color or as it's cooking all the way through, it's gonna change color. And so it's gonna get like a lighter pink 
And so if you turn it this way, when you go to check it to see if it's done, you can actually see all the way to the center. And that's a really good gauge of if it's actually ready or not. To anybody out there that needs to occupy their children, water paint colors are where it's at. Emmy's pack is actually really nice. Um, hers was a little over 20, but it comes with these little water pens too. So she just squeezes it, the water comes out the tip, and then she can pick her color. Um, but she's fine with that one. These kids, yeah, they just destroy them. But anyway, this is a great, watercolors are great because they can just take them out whenever and paint whenever, and it really doesn't make that much of a mess. What kind of horse is that? Uh oh. It's a paint. <laughs> Mom. Oh, I'm so Mom, funny. All right, y'all, you can tell it's done. You can see some of the fat starting to come out a little bit. It might actually be slightly overdone here, but anyway, you can see it's like a nice opaque color. Um, it has a really nice crust. Doing it on broil makes it a beautiful crust. And you see how we kind of like really packed on those spices. Listen to it. It's a really nice crust and it only took, let's see five minutes and 20 seconds. Remember that would have taken much longer um, if you have not already had my oven preheated. The asparagus, even though it was only in for five minutes, they're actually, they're almost perfect. You don't want no limp asparagus. You see how it's sticking right out? <laughs> That's the way asparagus is supposed to look, ladies and gentlemen, just like that. <laughs> Please come clean my oven. <laughs> One of the worst parts about filming cooking videos is plating because I've done all this work and effort and all I wanna do is eat this delicious food and I have to make a pretty plate and then film the plate and then take pictures from different angles and I would really like to just eat right now. I feel like I need to remind somebody that it's very important to compost. So composting? It's helpful. It's better than living. And maybe you should try doing more than living. That was dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was absolutely delicious. Must try this salad. I'm gonna probably try to just include this salad in just about every video until you guys try it because it is amazing. And don't skimp out on the nutritional yeast. You definitely need to have that. It's gonna thicken up your dressing as well as add a real like umami type flavor. You're really gonna enjoy it. Even if you don't think you like nutritional yeast, go out and buy you some. All your vegan friends are gonna be giving you a. And I see frosting on Look. Daisy. Best Is it yummy? Ever. Yep. I just eat muffins are yummy too. I like <laughs> the muffins are yummy too. Oh lord. Best dessert ever. <laughs> Was that good? Yeah. yeah I yeah. ate a muffin. You ate a muffin? A chocolate muffin? Yeah. Smile. And it was good. It was good. Yeah. Okay. You ready to swing? Okay, hold on. Woo! <laughs> she said, hey Lila, and you saw the new girl coming into school? Lord have mercy, all that sass. You can do it now, Mommy, I You know last time, I mean, I thought you were doing Mr. Fish was Miss Y'all, <laughs> we always, it's a joke, because we always find this lizard sleeping in the weirdest positions ever. This is how we found her tonight. This has to be the best one yet. I don't even understand. <laughs> you never want to believe what I've seen. It's the unbelievable. Mothers are the best. They have so much secret stuff they have to keep. You don't even want to know. My mother has kept so much secrets from me. You don't want to know the things I've been through. Remember, people. 
never trust your mother.